Prince Harry has become the one thing that generations of the Royal House of Windsor have always despised, a celebrity. Sometimes I think we have reached the bottom, the basement of the tasteless and the tacky, when it comes to Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, royal expert Daniela Elsa wrote. In no particular order, we had a reportedly paid-for speech to bankers when the ink was barely dry on their royal divorce weeks after Mexit, their lay it all out, take no prisoners Oprah interview, the podcasts, the magazine outings, the six hours of Netflix wailing, and Harry's 400 pages of anti-firm dogma, the commentator observed. Elsa then spoke about the Duke of Sussex stealing headlines from King Charles III's coronation on May 6 when he showed up in a Dior suit. Only a scant couple of hours after their majesties had been standing on the Buckingham Palace balcony waving to the massive crowd in the rain below after the coronation's horses had been tucked back up in their stables and gotten an extra sugar lump for putting on a jolly good show, the famed Parisian fashion house was busy telling the world that they had dressed the world's most famous royal refuser, she added. Harry and Meghan have had a long history with Dior, going back to their brief tenure as a working royal couple. Despite the positive press the Duke received for his fashion choice at the crowning, the influential brand would push back on rumors in June that suggested Meghan was becoming the Duchess of Dior. Since taking up residence in Montecito, California, many observers have noted how Harry has completely ignored what it means to be a British royal and have a destiny dedicated to public service. His behavior and appearance at his father's crowning is allegedly a prime example of how he has been intoxicated by the individuality of celeb culture. A coronation is not the Met Gala or the Fast and the Furious 17 premiere, Elsa continued. You don't have to be a die-hard royal fan to know that yesterday was obviously one of the biggest days of not only Charles' life but Britain's in the 21st century. The last time that the UK witnessed anyone being crowned, Colour TV was a pipe dream and women wearing trousers were outre. This was a watershed moment for Harry's father and for his homeland, and yet rather than hauling a morning suit out that he already had in his cupboard, he may have used it to not so subtly get into bed with Dior, the columnist opined. After the Montecito Royals lost their Spotify contract in June, Tinseltown initiated a freeze-out of the pair since both were rumored to be losing their footing with Los Angeles elites. Both are reported to be turning the corner in the land of make-believe, which could be due to WME's Ari Emanuel promoting Meghan behind the scenes. News.com AU published Elsa's royal column.